I've been here 23 years and I'm a crane operator. I've been a crane operator for the last 10 years. In your 23 years, how many times have you experienced where reefers are struggling to get power to them? Uh, maybe twice. It has been three weeks since the Key Bridge collapse, and tonight, Fox 45 News uncovering some details about the moments leading up to the tragedy and possible warning signs that went ignored. First on Fox, Rebecca Pryor speaks exclusively with a Port of Baltimore employee who claims that ship was experiencing electrical failures before leaving the dock. She joins us live with his first-hand account, Rebecca. Yeah, Mary and Kai, if this information is true, it will likely be at the center of the mounting civil and criminal investigations against the vessel and its owners and operators. It would also be incredibly painful information for the many lives that have been impacted by this tragedy, especially the six construction workers who lost their lives and the loved ones that they leave behind. You know all traffic was stopped. A desperate mayday call. I can't get to the other side, so the bridge is down. Made too late. Chilling video capturing the minutes leading up to the tragedy, showing the ship losing power, lights flashing on and off before striking a support, sending the bridge crumbling down. This week, FBI agents boarding the vessel, conducting a criminal investigation into the earlier hours, seeking warning signs that may have been missed or ignored, like what crane operator Damian Tucker. I ended up working a, uh, 15 hours on that vessel. Claims to have witnessed firsthand. I was radioed up from the reefer mechanic and some of the longshoremen on the ship that was lashing containers that night that they were having electrical problems getting power to the reefers. Reefers are refrigerated cargo containers used to transport perishable goods. In the two decades Tucker has worked at the Port of Baltimore, loading and unloading thousands of reefers. Does that happen often? No, it doesn't happen often. In your 23 years, how many times have you experienced where reefers are struggling to get power to them? Uh, maybe twice. Echoing his account, the Associated Press quoting an anonymous source claiming while the ship was still docked, alarms went off on some of its refrigerated containers, indicating an inconsistent power supply. Tonight, the NTSB not confirming or denying the claims, only willing to say a preliminary report of their investigation will be released in the coming weeks, leaving loved ones seeking closure. Come and see twice to visit uh, over here and uh, memorials for the, my friends. Waiting to learn if this tragedy could have or should have been avoided. Difficult for me. I make me cry. And who will ultimately be held accountable? Now, in addition to Tucker, I've also spoken with several other port workers who have told me the same things off camera. I also reached out today to the Maryland Port Authority and the U.S. Coast Guard asking for a response to these claims, but they have both declined to comment. Reporting live in Dundalk, Rebecca Pryor, Fox 45 News. I'm Kai Jackson. Thank you for watching. Here's another video to watch. Also, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel.